<sighs> what is there to say? Dave Streeter passed away this morning um, after battling um, a form of bile duct cancer. Uh, it was a word that was like 20 letters long, so I didn't want to um, mark it down on the paper. But I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. It is su such a sad day for me, man, and for a lot of people. Um, I'll, for this video, I'll just be sharing my thoughts. Um, in, uh, what is there to share, um, man? Now, you guys know, um, the first year that I got into hockey was the 15-16 season. Um, for the Dallas Stars when they had like 106 points, something like that. And of course, Dave Strader was the main commentator during that run. Um, he is one of the reasons that I liked hockey so much. Just the pure um, no knowledge for the game, pure um, just excitement for stuff that happens. <sighs> Man, without him, I don't think I would have been as much of a hockey fan as I would be. He was just a fantastic commentator at the right time, and he made me a hockey fan for sure for the rest of my life. Now, um, that that year was great for me um, as a hockey fan. Just like <clears throat> it's probably the most convenient time to be a star, to become a Stars fan. Um, but man, like he, he was just an amazing commentator all the way through. Um, I don't think that I'd rather have any other commentator at that time. Just get to know the, get to know the basics of hockey. Um, he was just like a just all around great guy for any hockey fan. Um, he had something for everybody, and it's it's such a sad day, um, especially especially after um, he commentated his last game last night um, as the last season or last game of the preseason. Um, it was on radio. I didn't get to hear it because <clears throat> I thought he would do better. I thought he would get better. Um, and maybe he would commentate a few games during the season. But it didn't end up happening. Um, and I am just so disappointed, man. It's, it's just cancer. Cancer. Now, while I haven't had anybody majorly affected by cancer, for my family at least, of course, I've had lots of um, celebrities just... Um, friends that have just been um, just have just been affected by this, and it's probably the biggest. I, I hate to say this because this is a really big privilege. This is probably the closest person to die from cancer for me. Like that's it's it's pretty ridiculous. Like at this point, I've been pr really really lucky at this point. Um, Dave Strader, a Dallas Stars announcer, is the biggest. Um, biggest thing to go away from me from for cancer at this point like this is that's pretty dang ridiculous um, of course as I go older it will start become more common and I'll just be, just be piling the depression but it, it's it's just ridiculous um, one of the best commentators in the game um, for all time in my opinion he was just excellent at what he does uh, he was just a specialty um, he was a specialty guy. He was amazing off the ice. Had a, he was amazing with his family, with his friends. He was just an amazing guy to be around. And really, that's all you can ask for from a human being. Um, it's it's just it's just dumb. I hate it. Uh, why does cancer have to get the best people in the world? It it doesn't make sense. Why can't you just get Kim Jong Un? Why, why, why can't you just do that cancer? Why can't you just get him? Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. I hate it. But, again, it is, I'm super lucky to have this as the biggest um, impact in my life from cancer. Like, that's just a gigantic privilege. People say, oh, you got white privilege. I don't really think about it like that. I think of that, like, the people around you that have, that ha or that haven't died, or if you're in a rich family born into that, like, stuff like that. Um, but I'm not gonna get super political, but uh, it's just it's just annoying. It's really really annoying. Now, of course, this pro the um, announcing team last season was not as bad as it you think it would be. Uh, for the stars without Strader, um, 
I would expect that it would be the same thing now because of his passing, um, which I'm still fine with because they got an excellent team with Razor and Ludwig, um, which is fine by me. I mean, it's definitely a good backup out option, but I just wanted him to come back, man. I wanted him so badly. Of course, you will start to see compilations of his best moments, which I'll watch the heck out of, man. Um, you know, it's just going to be gonna be a tough day for me um it's gonna be a tough day for a lot of stars fans and i i hope you guys get through it as well as as i do and it's it's going to be it's gonna to be tough to adjust um he was a fantastic guy <clears throat> just an just amazing person and an amazing commentator and we're going to desperately miss him but that is going to be it for today guys guys enjoy make sure you like guys really enjoy it make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys later goodbye